S&P put out an estimate saying that the next crisis may cost $5 trillion in upfront cost just to deal with the large institutions and their assets. Where are we going to find $5 trillion? Good question. Where are we going to find it? I have no idea. And that's the path that we're down as a country. Counsel, you're scaring me. You should be scared. I'm scared. I mean, you, you can't not be scared. You can't look at what happened in the run-up to 2008 and, and see how it's not going to repeat itself, given what we've done. If I'm a banker talking about taking risk and ever-increasing risk, where is the incentive for me not to take irresponsible risk when I can say to myself, it's now guaranteed. If we get in trouble again, the people of the United States will bail us out again. It's actually even worse than that, Dan because there's pressure on you as that executive to actually take on more and more risk. You know, Chuck Prince, who was the CEO of, of Citi, famously told Hank Paulson when he was Secretary of Treasury in late 2007, he said to him, Hank, can't you order us not to take so much risk? He also famously said, as long as the music's playing, you've got to get up and dance. So there are pressure on these institutions to take on more and more risk because with more risk becomes more profits. And that is exactly what's happening in the market right now. The largest banks have a bigger advantage than others. The, the rating agencies are giving them increased ratings, specifically on the assumption that the government will bail them out. If you've got it, watch it. If you don't, call your TV provider to get HDNet today.